So e-waste is everywhere. Um, it's a big problem, but it's also a big opportunity. So you have here on this car many examples. You have circuit boards, um, you have uh, laptops, mobile phones, also mobile uh, vapes, disposable vapes, which are quite bad because obviously millions of them are, are disposed of, non-recycled. So ultimately, this car is highlighting the e-waste the e issue, but of course we made it in the shape of our Formula E car. Ultimately, um, what really matters to us is, is accelerating the transition to electric mobility powered by renewable energy. This is really what the um, Envision Group and Envision Racing is all about. So just for fun, we make this car to actually work. So you can drive it, obviously not as fast as a Formula E race car, you have like safety concerns, but it works. There's an electric motor, a battery, and we can actually drive it around. We did it at the Formula E race in London. There are many ways to solve, or at least work towards a better, a better management of e-waste. And of course, at kind of the regulation level first, you know, it's already kind of happening with trying to create more standards. So there are kind of regulatory steps that are being made to try to get in the right direction. But of course, it's really at the collective level, at the individual level, that it really, we can really make a difference. There is so much out there, so much e-waste out there that is not recycled. And ultimately, pretty much everywhere around the world, you can find ways to recycle your, your electronics. And that, as I said, has two, two major advantages. First, of course, for the environment, but secondly, economically. And um, we just need to make the effort and do it.